Hola. Hola, 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 everyone. Welcome. I wanted to make sure and be on at 3 o'clock because I said I was going to be on at 3 o'clock. Smoke is getting ready to call in. So we are going to um, give her a second to call in. And while she's calling in, let me just tell you guys that this is a metaphysical interpretation of the Bible study. And today is a, is a very special one. It's a big one. It's um, if you guys, well, um, today we're broadcasting to everywhere. So um, a lot of you were not in the study on Friday, but those of you that were in the study, okay. 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 She's telling me to call her back. All right. Give me a second. And I know this was kind of short notice on the on our study sessions for Bible study because, you know, it happens when it's time for it to happen. We don't really have a, a scheduled time for it. So. Marty. You want me to call you on the other phone? Okay, we can do it here. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay, but I can call you on the other phone. I just wasn't sure. Yeah, 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 okay. the other one. Okay, okay, bye. I wonder if I'm going to be able to, um, to, uh, okay. Yeah, no, I figured it out, you guys. Thank you so much. Here we go. Okay, we got it together. Yes, and yeah, I like this line better. Hola, como estas, smokadocious? <laughs> you sound really good. I was just telling everybody that, um, um, you know, because I had a, I did my study session on Friday, and you know, I was up in the room in the bed with my leg up, and you know, mm -hmm. and so it was cool, but. The recovery from from then to now just has been amazing. I'm in the layer today. I'm still taking care of my knee. My my uh, motion has gotten a lot. Like I could really, you know, move it way more than I could. The progress has been amazing, amazing, amazing. And again, I have to say is due to DMSO, organ energy batteries, a powerful mind, uh, faith, prayer and knowing. And so it's just been fantastic. And today, you know, I, it, it was so funny because Smokey was like, are you up for it? I, Smokey, <laughs> I, I actually want to kick it off with a little something different that I, that I want to share because I am so grateful and thankful. So I'm gonna kick it off like this. I am thankful Thankful for my life, I am so grateful, grateful for my experiences in all of my lifetimes. Om. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that, yeah. I appreciate that. And that is what's up. And that's what we must do because tomorrow is the 21st of December, 2020, the Great Conjunction. And it is an amazing time. It is a reset. It is a time where we can do all things, whatever it is that we desire, whatever it is that we want, all of that can happen if you are in the right frequency, in the right vibration, in a space to receive it, you will have it, but you have to know it. No, no space for fear. None at all. It has to be this. And this is why, like, Smokey, I don't know what we're going to open up to today. I have no idea, raw, but I know it's going <laughs> to be good, whatever it is, because mm -hmm. I already, okay, so 
Someone sent me uh, some information this morning from a gentleman that was just confirming just a lot of the things that are going on, a lot of what is happening. And, you know, we've been in preparation for this winter solstice for so many reasons. But it in the last couple of weeks, it just came, you know, the, the, the knowing and the, the confirmation of everything that it was has been so present that it's just been amazing. Like, you know, to get rise up and it's like I got this information, this confirmation of things that I've been sharing. If you guys were on study in study group on Friday, y'all, y'all already know how that went down. And so it just continues. And so one of the comfort, one of the things that I said on Friday was that because I was um, sharing ritual smoky, but I was like, your ritual is your own ritual and you got to figure out what it is. And the only tip that I gave was for people, I gave a couple of tips, but the main tip that I gave was for um, people to do your rituals in a circle, right? So I said that on Friday. Last night, my niece comes to the bed because we're we're gonna read a story together, and she got this fantastic book called the Fairy, um, the Fairy and Science or something like that. And I can't remember the name of the book, but it was a great book with this little brown fairy on it. It was just so cute. And so as soon as I saw it, I wanted to read it. And so it was about um, this fairy that that didn't believe in in the magic. She just believed in science. And then you know, it, it, and she was using science to bring this tree back to life, where she just discovered that what it needed was the sun. So it was just really interesting. But when in, in a part of the book, when they did their ritual, they were standing, the, the, the little fairy was in a circle. And in that circle, there were little crystals around the circle. And it just tickled me because I was like, thank you. For, you know, you know, when you're getting a confirmation and I was just like, thank you for the confirmation. And so then today it was just more confirmation and just this feeling that I have today. I knew that I had to share it. And I knew that we had to come and do this today in this way. And I feel like, I feel really good, Smokey. Like I'm not experiencing, not a lick of pain, not nowhere. I'm still resting. I have my, my leg raised, you know, as we're doing this right now, but I'm not in any discomfort whatsoever. I'm very excited. I know why, you know, I had to go through what I went through this whole week in that pain and in that whole everything that happened last week. And it's all for this and it's all for now. So I am just super duper ready. I did want to ask you, Smokey, could you do the tuning forks for us? Oh, sure. You want, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is important to, for us to be in the vibration of what is happening to mother nature right now. Okay. And in order for you to get in that vibration, you have to make that happen. And so ohm, ohm is that that is the vibration of everything, of the of everything that exists. If you want to unify yourself with Mother Earth, ohm, ohm is the sound that you make. Anybody can make that sound. And when you do it, you are aligning yourself with the vibration of the planet. And so with the tuning forks and with your bowls and with all of these, your, your singing bowls and your meditation and your chanting and your song, all of that is essential for you to do at this time right now. If you don't have tuning forks, guess what? Smokey got them and she about to hook us up. <laughs> yes, I am. Hold on. One moment. That is really funny. I, uh, I, you know, they were talking about when we're, you know, getting out of this, this age and, and basically stepping into the next one, which we have to some degree. But they were talking about how you, you do these different things, cleaning and straightening up. And da, 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 I did clean my cabinet and I was like, oh, my God, I am so happy. I really did that. Yes, you did. And I knew you were going to. Yes, it was so great. I was like, oh, this is so super. Okay, so I am going to <clears throat> to start off with, um, let me make sure this is the root. Oh, yeah. This Okay, so we're going to start, and this the first one is the root. Now, I'm going to let it stay, not completely till it totally goes away, or do you want me to? Because that may take a little while, or just, you know, kind of just ride it out and t- well, we'll see. I'll do, do what this. You feel, it. feel it out, Smokes. Okay. Okay. 
Did you feel that? I did feel that. And that Me was the too. root. That, that was the root chakra. So we okay. want you guys to think about that that chakra center when you when you're hearing the sound and as it goes, you just want to focus on the color of that chakra. The next one we're going to go to is the sacral chakra. That is the color orange. So focus on that. Thank you. Yeah, good, good. Very cool. Now we're going to go up okay. to the solar plex, solar plexus. Yeah. Okay. And the color? Yellow. Yellow you like the sun. The <laughs> All right. Here we go. And then we're going to go up to the heart chakra, and that is green. And then we're going to... Okay, go ahead, baby. We're going to go up to our, and, and I know because the sound is not, like if you had the tune and forks at home, it would sound different, right? But I just want yeah. you guys to get an idea of what this is and what it's doing. And you can do this, just, you can get some tuning forks. Even if you don't have the tuning forks, you can just picture, you know, the sound uh, or picture the, you know, you're getting an idea of where, what this tone is. So we're going to go for the, Throat chakra, and that is blue, light blue. Okay. Here's this one. Uh, this one. Okay. Hmm, this is interesting. Okay, this is a uh, throat one. Okay. Say what, Smokey? Uh, that was a really different one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. There's, uh, I gotta see what this one is. So oh, okay. We're okay. going to got the third it. eye. Yeah. Third eye is indigo blue. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that you really want to focus on, that indigo blue. Focus on that. Think of the stone azurite. Azurite has a real deep blue. And think about that as you listen to this sound. I felt that one smoky. Me too. <laughs> Me too. And, yeah. yeah, that was crazy. And then yeah. all right. And it then, was like, ooh, so, double one. It was a double one. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, it's really funny too. And and the fact that I'm holding it, I, I'm getting the vibration, not only the sound, but the vibration. You're and I'm really like, feeling it. oh my God, this is way too good. And I'm like, you got these here a sec accessible to you and why haven't i been using them it, it, you know what i mean it's, it's supposed like, to be right okay. now you're supposed to pull them out yeah, right now exactly. today smoke a docious that's what's up yeah. look we are good we are good everything is right on time look yes okay. yes yes the, our last one 
that we're going to do the ring for. And there are tones for the ones above the head and below your, your star chakra and the, the earth chakra. We there are, But we I don't know if you have that available, if that's in your book. But we're just going to go ahead and do the crown one and we'll, and we'll move on. Okay. Purple, purple for the crown chakra. <laughs> That one was kind of light. That was very light. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for that, Smokey. See, that was that was supposed to be because now you know what you got to do. For, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is, uh, see, what's happening on, on the conjunction is an ushering of the Aquarian age, the golden age. is this whole brand new light energy that is upon the planet. And so these things that we're doing and raising our vibrations, it's about being continuous in this work. This is not like, oh, one day and that's it. This is happening tomorrow but this is going to last for over 200 years so this is going to be a, this is a very powerful time for the planet i mean it is it's really 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 exciting i'm going to share um with you guys at mastervibration13.com one of the things that 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 was shared with me in this video so that you know it it, it gives you more confirmation yeah. and it helps you stay grounded in what you've created mm -hmm. in your own foundation because this is the time to really be grounded we must because there's a lot going on in the world you have to be ready to receive it because wherever you are in your vibration, that's what you're going to be creating. So that's why raising your vibration and using the tools that are available to us to use is really, really important. If you guys haven't been to a metaphysical Bible study with Smokey and myself, um, what we do is we open up a page on uh, from the metaphysical interpretation of the Bible by Stephen L. Harefield. And we don't know what page we're going to open up to. Uh, it's just going to be whatever page it is. Smokey, do, who opened last week? Was it you or me? Yeah, it was me. It was your, it's your turn now. This is my turn. Okay. So um, Smokey is going to go ahead and pray us in. And um, take it away, Smokes. So big breath of relief in and out, in and out. Mother, Father, God, we come before you, not only with you and for you, but we also call in our lives, our inner selves from all universes, all, all um, galaxies. We call in these spirits now at this time and this energy to encircle us with this light of transformation, knowing that where we are, we are not alone. We are always supported in, through, and around you with the love of God, always, always. We thank you for this session. We thank you for the people that will hear it now and those later, knowing that any information that is being presented is not only for our good, but for their good. We are in a state of war, Father God, but we also know that this state is necessary for our transformation. We give thanks and acceptance and know that wherever we are led, we are guided by your love and know your existence. In these things we say, and so it is. And so it is. Ache, ache, ache. Okay, so I am flipping the pages, and I'm just going to go ahead and open it to right here. And this is page 569. Actually, it's starting. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, no, I'll do that one. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do 569, but it's going to go to... Um, 570 also. It's not a page that we've opened up to before, Smokey. Okay, this is good. So, are you starting on Let Us Now here? Huh? Are you starting on Now Let Us, uh, let us Now Peer? Yes, Let Us Now Peer. Okay, here we go. <laughs> let Us Now Peer into the Eastern philosophy pertaining to the energy centers or churches that comprise the rise of the Kundalini. We discussed this subject briefly in our chapter on Matthew. 
allow us to tie it all together with a more Eastern flair. We will let Harish Johari give us the definition of chakras. Chakras can be thought of as wheels of the mind and dwell in the forest of desires and desires. So they're saying that Harish Johari, 1934 through 1999, was a painter, sculptor, and composer of Indian music. He authored 12 books on Eastern spirituality, one of which is chakras. Like wheels themselves, a great... The, like wheels themselves are great motivating forces. Each chakra is a stage by stage playground of desires, exhibiting its influence on the persons who are attached to the enjoyment of the particular chakra. Throughout life, one dwells in this forest and thinks and understands life situations from the standpoint of the chakras in which one normally feels most comfortable. Perhaps this can explain the old adage that says, we cannot see the forest for the trees. Thus far, we have learned that the vivid struggles exposed by revelation will occur during what is known as the awakening or the rapture. Got chills on that one, Smokey. It will mm-hmm. happen to those attached to the carnal aspects because these old energies must be released in order for such individuals to move forward with the cosmos. Those who choose to advance upon the path will step into their own divine nature, Ache. Essentially, Revelations describes the steps we must follow to each to reach that goal. During this period of inner shift, realistically, any personal attachment we have may be affected, even a person we love. We will see all things in a different light. Consequently, there will be behavioral changes associated with each of the chakras. This is being observed today as some are being awakened already and are in a transitional phase even before the impending shift of our material reality. Ours are changing times and many are beginning to behave in a different fashion, increasing global struggles and and variations in weather patterns. The old illusions will be cleared and dissipated as we grow spiritually. It is in a it is a process of shedding, a reminder of Abraham pleading with God not to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, and Lot's wife longing for the past. As we know, she became frozen in time as a pillar of salt, and the cities or the old yearnings yearnings were destroyed. We are in an era when we may all have to face these same occurrences again as the next leap of higher spiritual evolution will start to take greater hold upon us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my goodness, body. Uh, that, this, every, uh, there are no words. There you know are no I'm words. Um, yeah, it, it, it's like, wait a minute. Wait, who did, <laughs> there's no words. Smoky. It's like everything we did. I'm blown away right now. Me too. I mean, this, from, from the tuning, to all, the tuning for which we've never done. No. All, all, and what they're talking about, that, if that's not a testimony that we are not led by spirit, then there is none. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. honestly, how could it be precisely what we just talked about? Like and did. So specific of where we yes. are today, where we are right now. Yes. I, I knew this was going to be out of sight, Smokey. I knew and wow. I didn't know. I was just confident. We, I knew, but oh my goodness, page that was page sixty five sixty nine. I'm sorry, yeah, five sixty nine through five seventy. Yes. Wow. Yes, and, I mean, and and the fact that we've been through this book, this is never we've never been. You know, girl, there are no words. <laughs> there are no words. It's like. You, they, he might as well just be standing here talking to me for real, for real. Yes, yes, and it is. You know, you know, it's oh. just really, it's really amazing because you know we've mm. we've known we've known that this time is coming and we have felt it, but it's like now it's here, it's here in this moment, and it is such a wonderful, wonderful thing. And you know, the 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 powers that be, you know, they work in overtime to keep people scared so that they can keep them away from this knowing. But those that right. have ears to hear, let them hear. And it's time for us to celebrate because this is our time. This is our time. Mm-hmm. Everything that is being done, all of the wickedness, all of the all of that that's being done, that's gonna continue in that world. And that's okay as part of as part of what has to happen. But where are you? Where are you? 
And that's the most important thing. And that is what matters now. And everything, you know, it, it talked about, because one of the things that I've been, you know, look, I, I am out of here today. I think I got the message last night to, and I've been talking about it, but closing my um, my social media accounts. So I'll only be available at mastervibration13.com. That is the only place that people are going to be able to access me at all. And it is just divine guidance and it's the time to do it. And I'm in celebration because I have, look, there, it's a whole new world, a whole new beginning for me. And people that have been um, in my uh, part of my past are that part of the past and the people that are not able to maintain a frequency, they're not going to be able to be where I'm at. And I'm good with that. I'm okay with that. You know, my whole, mm -hmm. I was telling everybody last week that I had this near death experience, you know, my whole, you know, passing out or, or you know, uh, with, from pain and thinking that, oh my goodness, th this might be my last day. Right. And just that mm -hmm. feeling just, just gave me so much knowing and so much confirmation on where I am. And it was just so uh, symbolic to, to where I am. And in just reading this and, and, you know, it talks about leaving people behind. I always think about the lady with a pillar of salt and not looking behind, you know, because mm -hmm. we get stuck on things and we think that things are supposed to be forever. And life is a whole evolution and it is, and, and it is high time for us you know, to evolve. Like there's so many people that have been suffering in the world forever. And that is yeah. over now. It is over. It is over. It is over. But, you know, it, it's, it's really about where you are and what you're perceiving and what you're experiencing. Because just like it was talking about, each energy center has a purpose. And there's some people that they're living completely from their lower chakras, completely living from there. So it is in their time to experience that and only that. I can't be mad at them because they can't see beyond that. That's none of my business. Right. It's part of what has been created and it's part of evolution. And so maybe that person will leave, um, you know, this plane from that energy center because it's, it's so powerful and it takes a lot of people away when they live there. Right. And so, but guess mm -hmm. what? They get to come back. And they get to come back with a new awareness of having been in that world and they're able to raise their energy in that way because everyone has the opportunity to do it. I don't care how many lifetimes it takes for anyone. Every soul has the, every soul is meant and destined to evolve. So where in their evolution? Well, that's their business, right? And this is where the energy centers come in. I knew a long time ago when Smokey, when you and I first met, we both said to each other that we knew this was our last time here in the physical pl yeah. plane in this capacity. And I had no idea of what I was talking about when I said it. I just knew it was my last time, right? But I did not know what that meant until now. And so having been in this experience and been able to experience all of the chakra centers, what Smokey introduced me to chakras. Right. And mm -hmm. so when I started going into it, it wasn't even anything that I tried to learn. It was something that just started growing inside me and the information came and I just kept following my instinct and I kept following what I was inspired to do. And it took me to all of the places that I've gone. And so this chakra system, when you have this in order, it changes your life completely because you start operating from a space of, okay, it's my, my heart chakra. This is what's constantly, my heart's constantly getting broke. This is happening. I'm always sad. I'm always this. I can't, you know, I'm feeling all of this comes from your heart. You know, you know that there's that need, that heart chakra needs to be repaired. And in order to repair that, you got to repair the, the, the root and the sacral. You know what I'm saying? And you have to use the, the, um, the solar plexus to make it all happen. And when you start recognizing how this works in your system, it just makes everything so much clearer. And these are, mm -hmm. I mean, man, this look, I love me some Stephen Harefield for making this translation. Cause I'm 50 years old and I tried to read so many different Bibles. I picked up the woman's Bible, the Holy Bible, the, this Bible, the James <laughs> King Bible, the, that Bible. And none of them was I able to, get I cannot connect to any of them and it's like 
and I know that it's just about connecting to, it is about metaphysics. It is about the spiritual aspect of it. And what happened is that in these other Bibles and the way that they've been misconstrued and, you know, portrayed, it has been fear, 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 and taking everything and just keeping it in the physical. Whenever you feel something spiritual, oh, be careful and watch out. Cause if you, you know, be scared of that, because if not, you're going to go to hell and it takes it back to that fear level and that, you know, so that's what they did and it worked for a while, but it is not working anymore. We mm. definitely, I, I know I went on a little tangent because this was just, that was just great. That was just exciting. <laughs> no, no, no. You're in that, you're, you're on, you're in that awareness zone is, oh, is what I get. Oh, goodness. It's yeah, like, seriously. Smokey, it's like that, it, it's just been, one of the things that's happening with this conjunction is that if you are a person, you know, a lot of people get nervous about, oh, but I don't know rituals or I don't have this or I don't have that. Check this out. This is how divine the universe is. This is how good your God is, the God that's inside of us all the time. That As, yeah. your heart and your mind, if you've been if you've been a person that has been of action and you've been loving and doing good things and you've been, you know, so maybe you don't have your whole self-mastery thing all together to the point where you want it to be, but you've always been a person that has cared for others, that has loved other people and you're not in that fear. You're in that space of, you know, you're going to be blissed and blessed abundantly, infinitely, because this is a time when Saturn meets uh, Jupiter. Oh, Jupiter, uh, look, all of that karma, karma is flowing to the planet, meaning everything that you've ever done, all of that is coming back to you. Bad, good, or indifferent, mm -hmm. all of that is coming back. And it doesn't mean, oh, be scared because you, you've been a shady-ass person and now... No, it's just recognize that that's all part of your knowing the aspects that have had to change. We've all been shady. We've all... We're sinners. Th that's what we mm -hmm. do. That's what we came here for. But if in your heart you have always had that love for the most high, for yourself, for, you know, then you... This is your time. This is your time. Right. So it's, it's, it's just a really uh, beautiful place to exist in because nothing can take you from this joy once you know. You know, it's like there there's so many people out there that are working on the things that, that are for the betterment of humanity. And you have to trust that you were not put on this earth, on this planet to be deficient. You never were. It's just a trick. Mm -hmm. We got tricked. And now it's, yep. you know... The gig is up. So now it's yeah. time for us to really focus on our visions and what we want to do. And there is no impossibility. There is no impossibility. So anything that you want to learn, anything that you want to be, anything that you want to design, it is there for you to have and do. And this tomorrow, this is happening when, when, it, when it hits to that point, it's going to be 2 p.m. And I still haven't figured out 2 p.m., where but i already know that from the time i rise to the time that i rest my head i'm going to be in this celebration i'm going to be in this ritual of this divine healing this vibration i mean i experience do y'all know how long it takes to cure a knee injury do y'all know uh -huh. how long it takes yeah that, yeah that particular one i just looked at the clock right now and it was three 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 i tell you, i was looking at it right when you was looking at it too smoky <laughs> i was looking right at it yes 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 so yeah. it, it is about staying in that space. Do not let anything bring you any kind of fear because that fear, and you know what? If it does, we talked about it before. If we does, look at it and say, why are you here? What is this? What are you mm -hmm. doing here? What do you want? You know, transform yep. that shit yep. and keep it moving because it's, yep. you know, you're, you're going to look at things and you're going to see things that are going to challenge you and it's going to challenge you to where are you right now? Where is your thinking? Where is your mind? Where is your heart? And as long as you are in a high vibration and you're feeling good, then that is what you have to do. You know, you don't have to, anything that comes in terms of a ritual that you must do is going to come to your mind and you're going to be inspired to do it. So don't feel, don't create a, a, a aggravation or anxiety trying to hurry up and get candles or trying to, look, I said make a circle. You can make a circle with your hand. You can make a circle with some rocks on the ground. You can make a circle with absolutely anything. So it doesn't, mm -hmm. don't overthink things when it comes to creating rituals. And these are words that are used that sometimes it, it gets people intimidated, you know, using certain things, but it's like meditation, om and, 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 um, mantras and th th that's all easy work. 
You could do that just with yourself at any moment in time. So you have all of the tools that you need right now. And when you know that, then more comes and just more comes. But now what do you want? Don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to design the most spectacular. You know what I want? I want to be on the beach in one of them big fat hammocks, the ones that fit, you know, two people and just Mm -hmm. chill there. Chill on the beach and with some coconut water. Oh, some really sweet coconut water. And that, I mean, it's like that feeling, just that feeling alone, you know, because some people start to think, oh, I got to think about, I have to imagine all of these things in this car and the Maserati and the Bugatti and all this and this and that. Look, all of that comes from your inner self and your vibration. So if you are feeling good and you are feeling abundant, you will be able to manifest absolutely anything that your heart desires. You know, so, you know, keep it, keep it simple. And that simple is going to reflect so many, you know, the world is simple, but we have made it complex because of all of these programs and all of these different things that, that have been, you know, injected inside of us to do. So it's, it's a, it's down. Look, tomorrow is zero, zero, zero reset. These planets, all it look, and I know it. I'm saying that I'm not no astrologer and all of that, but you know what? I am. Yes, I am. I am all of it. I am all of that. Yes, sure am. Because it's sure. Look, it be coming when I. I don't even have to ask for it and come. Smokey, I didn't know I was gonna be talking about no twelve twenty one. I was chilling. I was like, I ain't really, you know. And all of a sudden, it was like, you got to talk about this. This is what's going on. This is, and like I knew. You know, winter solstice, we've always celebrated a winter solstice. We do our little rituals. But what is happening now, this ain't happening. Look, last time it happened was 800 years ago. So we know that this is something super special. I got a little reminder. Uh, There is a grand, a global meditation tomorrow at 622 uh, UTC time. I think I looked it up and it was like, 122 Eastern time, so that makes it 422 our time, mm-hmm. and for 20 minutes. And it says that, you know, uh, extreme powerful flash of cosmic love will reach our planet and begin long awaited age of Aquarius. So it's going to be, it's going to be really pretty. The golden a- age energies will start flowing in at that particular time. So what is 622 UTC time? I, I, I'm i pretty sure. Check it out or, you know, uh, ask. But I think it's the, it's 122 for us. Hey, Siri, what time is 122 UTC time? No, no 622. It's 3.38 p.m. Okay, wait, no. She wouldn't even. See, that's why I can't stand her because she don't ever tell me nothing right anyway. She's just telling me what time it is right now. I can see that, Siri. <laughs> 6 22 p.m utc time you're are you asking your siri because my siri broke no. okay i'll ask siri what time is 6 22 p.m utc time i can't do it it's not working either. She's like, I, I, think ain't, I ain't about to help y'all. Do you know that all these Illuminati people and stuff that, that create all of these designs and all this stuff, they know what time it is. They know what's going on. And that's why they're keeping everybody closed up and trying to tell everybody to be scared and stay home because if you touch somebody, you're going to kill them. That, look, <laughs> I'm not Wait. dumb. I get it. Yeah. But, but I y'all will figure it out. I, yeah, they have, they have the time. Uh on this page but wait alexa what time is 6 22 p.m utc time 6 22 p.m at coordinated universal time is the same as 10 22 a.m pacific standard time pacific standard time oh 10 22 a.m pacific so standard time yeah. thank you alexa because siri wow. don't know jack no, and I'm glad we checked because I would have I gave out the wrong time to other people. But I think you could do this all day. Yeah, you could like definitely you- do it all day. I mean, it's like what what this energy is going to last. Like people are going to be feeling the effects of it from now until. I mean, I'm talking about years to come. You know, so mm-hmm. this is we have a a a a good amount of time to, you know, get ourselves ready, get ourselves in motion. 
You know, this is not something that it's like, oh, if you if you didn't do it um, tomorrow, if you don't do it tomorrow, then you're going to miss out. You're not going to miss out. You're not going to miss out, but doing it at the peak. And it's, you know, it's kind of like a baby being born. You know what I'm saying? You want to be there when they come. <laughs> you want to be ready for them. And so that's what we're doing at these times. So yeah, as soon as I'm up, it's, it's on and crack a for me. I'm going to be live also on the Ringing Stone Network at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and um, with with a panel of other guests, and I don't have them all in front of me right now, uh, who they are, but I will be sending you guys the information on that at mastervibration13.com. You'll be getting the notice of where to go to check that out. Um, and it's going to continue. This is ongoing, and it is really important that you participate in this meditation. Y'all know that I don't, y'all already know how I get down with that, but these, because we did it, when was the last one that we did, Smokey? That one was, oh, that was huge. Yeah, that was, was it that beginning or was it? That was for the right, summer solstice, was, I think. Yes, yes, I think it was something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I it was, it, do. it was yeah, very, yeah. very intense. And if y'all felt that one, this one is going to be even more so. And it will continue. So even your, like your, if you're starting to feel um, any kind of like anxiety, I had given a mantra last week, Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum is a mantra for compassion. It is for for the entire planet. It is a great mantra that will bring uh, uh, calmness and abundance and prosperity. So that's a good one to do. We're going to go ahead and move on. I know we've taken longer today than we normally do. We usually do about 30 minutes, but today is a special day. So, oh, yeah. Um, so Smokey's going to um, pull a card for us that's going to give us more insight for this coming week and for this, um, man, well, it, we're doing it moment for moment, but e each moment <laughs> is going gonna, is gonna to change that much. And it really is that serious. If you guys haven't checked out the... Um, the study session for last week, definitely check that, check it out. And I'm going to yeah. be um, sharing more uh, through the week, but okay, let me, let's, let's get to it. <laughs> <What we do. laughs> okay. okay. Close your eyes and focus on the topic you want a reading about. Call upon your angels and guides asking them for their assistance. Feel that guidance you are about to receive his wise and benevolent message that will help you on your path. And each and every one will receive their own understanding of the card that's being picked now. So once again, taking a deep breath. Okay, soul group. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Soul group is a card. You are getting this. Re you are getting ready to unite with members of your soul family. You have a special group of people waiting for you to come home. This card comes to you today to tell you that you are getting ready to unite with your soul group or soul family. A soul group is a group of kindred souls that come together with a similar set of beliefs, ways of doing things, and view, and view of the world. You will know when you have met them because you will simply feel at home and accept it in a way that you have never truly have, that have before. It will feel like as if you had known them for your entire life. This is because even though you just met them, you have known them for many, many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. This is a special reunion, and you will feel the after effects of meeting them for months to come. You are finally home, and they have been expecting you. This kind of connection is an extraordinary feeling. They will understand you in a way that you have never experienced before, and you will understand them as well. Don't be surprised when you realize you have a similar backstory as well as uncanny similarities. It is possible they will know you are thinking even before you do. This is very exciting, and it is what you have been waiting for. If you have not met them already, you soon will. This card depicts the energy related to your question. And honestly, there was no question. It was like, I, you know, whatever 
A, whatever was meant to be. And as I'm reading this, I'm getting that this is in, in this shift that we're in, in getting uh, embarking on, we're going, it's going to shift everything. So like they were saying, even in the reading, you know, you're going to start falling away from the old group and bringing in the group, new group. So this kind of just confirms everything that, I mean, this is no joke. <laughs> this is really we're in the midst of, a, of a great big, I mean, this is for real, for real. Yes. And all of these, all of these signs and, you know, that we're being shown and are, are doing are all collect collectively together. It's like, I, I, I don't even know what to say. That was as soon Except as you, you said that, yes. Loki, you started with that card. I was like, I felt it. And I was like, and of course I tied it into what we just read about, you know, leaving the past behind and those old things because it's time yes. for new beginnings. It is. And, it, and it's for all of us. Like this is happening for all of us. That was cool. Mm -hmm. That was pretty fantastic. So what what plans do you have for for the big day tomorrow, Smokey? You know, uh, honestly, I'm I'm just going with the process. No real I mean, you know, for me it's just honestly an extension of where I am. Mm -hmm. You know, with whatever is going to happen is going to happen because there are no there are no real complaints that I have and it can only get better. Mm -hmm. So it's like I be led by spirit as to what direction I do. And one of them in which I probably, I feel like everybody is to this degree is just getting rid of the fear, you know, just letting people know that there's really nothing to fear and, and enhancing their beliefs in themselves and knowing that, you know, you can do this. All you got to do is just go within. You just got to know you call on you because you're right there, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that that's one of them, but no real outside of that. I haven't, I haven't even given it any real serious thought. Yeah, I was, I'm just doing a circle. I'm doing a circle. I'm putting some pyramids out, my organ, organ pyramids in a circle and, you know, going mm -hmm. there and energize. I'm going to be singing. And it's just like you said, Smokey, it's just about continuing to do this work that we've been doing. It's like I sing when I want to sing. I, I, I feel, I, I know mm -hmm. how to raise my vibration. I don't, you know, it's about keeping my mind where it's supposed to be and not going to those places that bring about that fear. And I think that, you know, what happened to me last week and this experience with this leg has been really helpful in staying grounded and recognizing, you know, what all those things are. And it, it really does something too for uh, just appreciating your body and appreciating your health you know, and being able to move around, you know, we take that so much for granted, the things that we're so used to having, we don't pay attention to them because, oh, it's just, it's just money, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But it's like when you yeah. really stop to focus and, and, and love on yourself and touch yourself and be grateful for your movement and your presence in this world, it's like, it, it really, you can change your own world by just doing simple things like that, because those are the things that connect you to source. So, yes. so yeah, so it's just going to be a happy day around here. And that's going to be the, that's going to be the, uh, you know, the focus for the day and the days to come. But yep, it's, it's, it's official. It's funny. Cause I kept saying smoke. I was like, am I really last night? It was like, the message was strong. It was like, just stop, just, just get off of those platforms that, because see, these platforms are part of the one world government and what they're wanting for the masses to do. And so they're going to be continuing to inject a lot of fear and they're going to continue to censor anyone that's saying anything that opposes what their, um, what their agenda is. And they have an agenda. And I read the agenda, agenda 2030. And I read that 13 years ago, actually it was, I think about maybe 10 years ago. And, um, and so when I read that, you know, back then, uh, I thought it was like out of a movie. They, I mean, they got total plans. All of this stuff was planned out. The vaccine, COVID, all of that has been planned out for the longest time. Because, see, we think that what is happening is just surface, right? A lot of people look at just, oh, what's going on? And they think it's, oh, the president this, blah, blah, blah. You know, the, the politics. All of those things are part of the illusion created to hide what is happening planetarily, what is really happening to the planet and what that means. They know what it means. They know that it's time for the last to be first. They know that their karma is done. You know what I'm saying? It's like America has been powerful for a very long time. It's time for them to take the 
fall that they've been, um, well, the United States, I should say, rather than America, but the United States, that, that government, right? It's been in power for a very long time. So now it's time to do something different because their power is done. And it's not because it's going to another one power source is going back to the power of humanity and the power of the people. And so the world that's being created is a world where that old world, the people that have this government thinking and are in uh, under that illusion are not going to be able to exist there. And this is where you're going to see a lot of different communities rising, a lot of independent people, a lot of sovereigns, you know, people that we know that we are sovereign is more than one. You know what I'm saying? That there's tons of communities out there that know that have been preparing for this time. But you got to detach from the illusion. Anything that's being showed on television, on the news, on the internet, you already know who owns the, the well, not the internet in, in its completion, but all of those applications that are used by the masses of people. As soon as Facebook and Twitter and all of these other things came down, who came in to swoop them all up? Government agencies came to 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 take it all over. And they have Facebook, mm-hmm. all of those things, Big Brother. That's all. That's what it is. And they're really, you know, messing with the with the psychology of people, with the minds of people, and that's what's been intended. So, in order to be free from that, you have to disconnect from that. There's no ifs, ands, or maybes. It's like you just got to do it. You know, you got to get ready. Mm-hmm. If you're tired of that old world, then let's go create a new one. It's up to you to do it. But mm-hmm. that this that whole system, yeah, it's it's been. You, you got to follow your gut, Smokey. There's so much more information coming out in regards to like, okay, so we're we're knowing that the um the swabs that they're putting in your nose have this nanotechnology, this nano, this gel that's like a magnet, and it's you know they put it. It's a tracking device system, tracking systems, you know. <laughs> Yeah. And so all of this information is coming out because, see, they've been wanting to gather the people like they've been they've been sterilizing people, especially um, blacks and Latinos. They've been sterilizing them for a long time, making it lawful, you know. And so now they've been preparing for this for a very long time. And so now all of the truth is coming out. All the information is coming out. But it's up to the individual to decide what you know, where they want to stand and what they want to do and how they want to live. So, you know, it's not about fighting (laughs) against anybody it's about seeing what's right. up and making your decision on how you're going to move without fear so um mm-hmm. yep it's a it's a great new world it's so interesting because like i, I also saw that there were a lot of there's going to be a lot of birth to coming in like for 2021 and there's going to be a lot of women getting pregnant that are um over the normal oh you can't get pregnant anymore yeah that's going right, right. to be definitely happening because we're seeing, I mean, we're already seeing the um, people that are, you know, like Smokey, you shouldn't be here right now at your age. You weren't, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, and now yeah. we're seeing, and you, you climb mountains and you hike and you work out every day and you, you know, like you are uh, fit, more fit than people half your age the majority you know what i'm saying so it's like i'm seeing i don't know if you've seen her but chef babette in in um she's in la (laughs) she just turned 70 and she looked like she 20 you know and it's like and this is all and she's a vegan she's a vegan chef so we've we Mm. have tons of um uh what is it um examples of what we can do, how we can heal ourselves, how we can transform, how we can uh, turn back time, how we can be ageless, how we could really use this vessel. 150 years is what this vessel is meant to last. 150 years. So think about, look, we just getting, we young, we, look, we young buck smoky. What you talking about? <laughs> we just getting started. I'm like, hey. And didn't we always say that? Me and Smokey will always, you know, talk about how, You know, because it's like smoke is in her 70s. I just made it in my 50s. But we don't feel our age. We don't feel Uh -uh. our age. It's like, what is that age? It's like you look at it as a number of stuff. Like, I don't even if if I wanted to put a real number on on my age and how many times this soul's been around, you couldn't even count the number. So, you know, that is nothing. But when it comes to the 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 um the vitality and how I feel it's like, look, I can't, th- these youngins can't hang with me. They can't hang with us. Smokey. They can't climb on that mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. 
It's such a good feeling because, you know, we live in a world where they say, you know, when you start getting older, everything starts falling apart. They do that for a reason because they know that in the in 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 your in this vessel, you really start to mature, you know, after you get to 40, that's when things start really shifting in your mind and you're able to kind of get more grounding and you really, you got more examples of life and you can see things for what they are. And so that's when they're trying to put a whole lot of liquor and drugs and stuff into you. And and you see all these people, midlife crisis. They start these programs. As soon as you hit 30, you already know all the programs that are coming off over the hill, all these things that you see at the party. store when somebody's getting old over the hill, uh, old this, old, you know what I'm saying? It's like they program you to know that senior citizens, oh, you're going to be in this year. Uh, um, everything is falling apart. That's what they want you to believe. Yeah. Yep. But true. we know that's not the case. All right. Exactly. Well, I think we had a great study today, Smoke Adocious. Oh, yeah. That was, I mean, it's always good, but that was so on point with everything the tuning forks, everything. It just, They just came in and showed out. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that so much. So Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you all for hanging out with us today. We appreciate you so much. Those that are listening now, later, tomorrow. I was going to say yesterday, but they can't listen yesterday, Smokey. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) So I'm going to let Smokey close it out and uh, we'll see you guys next time. The light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us, the power of God protects us, the presence of God is with us where we are. God is, and so it is. And so it is. Adios. Yeah.